This portion of breakfast television is brought to you by Mark's Work Warehouse. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, uh, ever seen Theodore Tugboat? Huh? Have you? Of course you have. Well, this man, Bill Jardine, is actually the editor of Theodore Tugboat. I just learned that. That's amazing. Yep. You're also a musician. Uh, and you're working on a CD, right? That's right. When's that going to happen? I hope to have it out before Christmas. I first became aware of Bill when he sent an unsolicited tape through my mailbox. Uh, I remember thinking there were some interesting things on it at the time. And then I actually got a follow-up call from him about six months later. So that would have been around the summer of 1997. Would you like a glass of water? I can run over and get you one real quick if you want. Well, if you want. I heard yes, you say you had a... Okay, come on over here now. I'm just going to show you. This is, the, this, is the, this is the water area here. Now, I heard you say you had a dry throat, and I'd hate to have to perform with a dry throat. So I would thought, we better get you the water right away, my dear. What are you going to play for us after you? Oh, seeing as we have stormy weather, uh, a song called Key Largo. Oh, Key Largo. That sounds like a good one. So sit back, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a glass of water, and relax and listen to Key Largo with Bill Jardine. Take it away, Bill. Thank you. With Bill, I assessed early on what he was doing was a very much self-contained singer-songwriter, um, stylist in the vein of several other successful artists who've gone before, a la John Denver, a la James Taylor, but unique in his own way. And if you listen to any of those records, which I sort of used as blueprints. You know, if you go back and listen to early James Taylor, the production is very sympathetic, very simple, folky, folk rock. And uh, those are the kind of, of things I tried to bring to the party uh, for Bill's record. You're listening to Atlantic Airwaves. Three years ago, Halifax songwriter <laughs> Bill Jardine set out to record his first CD. He had about a hundred songs to start with, so he hooked up here with the musician and producer Kevin McMichael. Let's do Sunshine Jane. You know, working here in Halifax, I, I looked around and said, who, who is it that has done what I want to do? Who can, who can you know, sit across the board and tell me uh, with a straight face what it's all about? So we cho I chose uh, Kevin McMichael. And he's been there. He's traveled the world three times and uh, sat on the same stage with Robert Plant, you know, and accompanied him. And it's been a huge success in England. And uh, so he knew, you know, what a good song sounds like. And he took my hundred songs and cataloged them and classified them and, you know, basically planned out for me three or four albums. And he, uh, he picked what he called were accessible songs, songs that that would have a broad appeal, were catchy on first listen, and uh, he thought that maybe I could perform. It wasn't an easy process because there was a lot of material to go through. Some were in the vicinity of, I think, 90 to 100 songs. But there was a lot of good things, so it made it hard to boil it down to a choice of 10 or 12. Bill would come up with new songs all the time. That was part of the problem of making the selection, is that I think I had it boiled down to 10 or 12 songs, and all of a sudden he'd show up my doorstep with a box full of eight more you know, tapes. Thanks, Todd. OK. Hey, Bill Jardine has joined us again. He's going to play another tune for us. In case you're looking for a CD, the cover is somewhat like this, although he's changed the title from, it says, Cover Me, to Magical World. This is kind of a mock-up idea. It's a beautiful, beautiful job. Bill's joined us today. He's actually still working on a CD. Going to be released uh, near the end of September, so keep your eyes open for it in the stores. We're very pleased to have him with us this morning. Please welcome Bill Jardine. Take it away, Bill. You'll always love me. I think if Bill has written several good songs, um, and possibly a couple of great ones. So uh, that's one of the things that intrigued me about getting involved with the project. Uh, in my experience working with Cutting Crew, working with Robert Plant, and uh, all the other people that I have worked with over the years, the song has always been the ultimate goal to capture that. Without the song, really, you don't have anything. Shine on my 
when Bill came in to the studio, he just said that, uh, you know, he told me that the music that he liked was, he likes to listen to James Taylor and he likes all that, that you know, he loves James Taylor and that style of music. And he's wondering how we could actually accomplish that type of feel and stuff and uh, that purity of the sound. And I said, uh, after hearing Bill play and sing, I said, I don't think that, you know, there should be any problem. production goes, I think the role of any producer, especially with this type of music, is to try to be as transparent as possible and let what the artist is intending come through. So we're taking quite a simplified approach to this because I don't want to eclipse um, Bill in any way. So we've got a basic rhythm section and fleshing it out with uh, soloists, specialists in their field. <laughs> Thank you, John. We'll see you. Bill Jardine's joined us today in studio, and uh, I don't know if you remember, there was a commercial around at Christmas time for the Halifax Shopping Center. He was kind of the dad in the commercial. Anyway, that spurned him on to take more acting lessons, so he's going to be a triple threat. He already can write music, he sings, and now he'll be able to act. Back to the mall, kids! Christmas time again. That is the title of Bill Jardine's new CD, accompanying him with the title track from that CD. A call before. Would you please welcome Bill Jardine? There's a buzz out on the street with the people that you meet. Well, it's a wave goodbye to look in your eyes. It's Christmas time again. You sing. Breakfast television. We're going to be I'm thinking of you. And uh, Harrison, you want to say anything to Manny? Uh, not that much. Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> well, good enough. That pretty much says it all. What are you going to do for us now, Bill? Well, we're going to do another medley. Uh, I'll be home for Christmas. This is for my father. And let there be peace on earth, and Santa Claus is coming to town. Hey, that's great. Let's hear it, Bill. Thank you very much. Bill Jardine, son Harrison. I'll be home for Christmas.
what Bill's doing is, is the same kind of appeal that the natural charm of, say, what John Denver used to do or what Jim Crochet or early James Taylor. It's uh, very natural, it's unforced, it's relaxing, it's, it's more fireside music than dance music. Thirteen years ago. The tune I'm hearing a lot on the radio now is cut number one on this. It's called 13 Years Ago. Kevin McMichael, who played with Robert Plant, also with Cutting Crew, just a fabulous guy. Monster, monster listener, great producer. Put this thing together with Bill. It's a fabulous uh, song. It's called 13 Years Ago. It's also available through the internet at BillJardine.com. We'll uh, have a listen now to 13 Years Ago. Oh, and I've got mine, but do you think it would be so bad? In this particular uh, collection, there's three or four different stylistic kind of uh, approaches. We have very soft ballads, we have kind of fun songs, up-tempo things, uh, and a couple of big production numbers. But basically it's all coming from the same sort of uh, gene pool. It's, it's uh, showcasing Bill as an M.O.R. and ballad singer and very adult oriented and I think very uh, relaxing and enjoyable. Looking back I see it must have broke your heart I'm gonna make it up to you Where else can uh, people catch you playing these days? Well, I'm playing on Wednesday nights down at the Acoustic Voice. And actually just last week I was at the uh, uh, Cape Britain Tea Room Thursday night at the Harbor Folk Society. Right on. Yeah. Now, Bill, with your particular style of music, are you finding it easy or a little bit on the tough side to find venues to uh, promote it? Well, I mean, I'm just starting to play in places like this just to get my uh, confidence up. You know, uh, I haven't really put the band together. I mean, once I have a band together, I'm sure I can play some venues. But I'm just taking it small steps at a time. That's the best way to do it. Learn to walk before you run, and it sounds great. Thank what you. tune are we going to hear from you this time, Bill? Uh, it's a tune called Story of Your Heart. Story of your heart, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Jardine on Breakfast Television. If I could turn the pages of your heart, if you could read the story from the start, if I could shine the light upon this dark over you, you would see the story life unfold of a man who lives in love untold. Oh, won't you shine the light and make my dream come? Well, there in your heart is a story of true, true love. 